right, here's our game five in a row. This is working on our skills of adding numbers together using dice. So you're gonna need dice and you're gonna need some type of counters. Since you're playing this at home, I chose to use money. So using two different types of coins, which is also gonna reiterate one of our standards of using a coin and its value. So using a penny, knowing it's one cent, using a nickel, knowing it's five cents. Here's your game board. You're going to take the dice knowing that a one and a three makes four. Finding on the game board where you want to place your four. So I'm going to choose up here, knowing that your object is to make five in a row, whether it's going down, going across, or going diagonally. So I chose there. Player two goes. Ooh, I have a six and a one. What did I get? Seven. Now I can choose to block from my player going down here, or if I want to start my own row. I'm going to be nice today, so I'm going to go here. Player one goes again. One and four. Ooh, five. Look, I have a space up here that's going to continue my five in a row. Player two goes again, just to get you just the game. Oh, they got a seven again. Now look, I have another option right here. It's all about the strategy. Three and two more. Ooh, a five again. Now where can player one go? Hmm. The only option they have is down here. They got six and five. Ooh, an 11. Hmm. All right, let's go one more time each. Six and a five, now they have an 11. There's a block, but also working on five in a row up here. Six and two. If I have six, seven, eight, ooh. All right. And that's how you play five in a row.